guys and thank you so much for tuning into my channel my name is the lady designer and today we are back with our little zoo tour marathon where we will be uploading a zoo tour every day until the end of this week to celebrate the launch of the planet zoo consolidation if you enjoy these type of videos and find them inspiring then please do make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to not miss out on all these incredible zoo tours that we will be doing on the channel this week and in today's video we are going to check out this beautiful grassland zoo called nap sugar zoo made by pabal thank you so much pabal for sharing your zoo to us for showcase on the channel really do appreciate it and if you want to explore this zoo yourself on pc then definitely make sure to download and rate this zoo with the link in the description of this video and if you have a vintage zoo on either pc or on xbox that you would like to see me check out on the channel as well then please do make sure to read the description of this video of how you can send me your vintage zoo and who knows, I might be able to check out your finish zoo as well on the channel in the future. Now, without further talking, let's jump into Nap Sugar Zoo made by Pabal. So we're gonna start here right at the entrance and as you maybe could tell from the cinematic shots, there is a wall around the zoo. I'm not sure if it's like continued all the way around it, but there was one on the right side. Just look at this. This looks really cool with like that really long road. But the guests enter right over here via the normal entrance. So right over here we go right through the entrance. Just look how cute this already looks around this uh, ticket shop. Nap Sugar Zoo. And we enter. Look at that sunshine here. What does it say? We have the Chinese pangolin and the art fark and a reptile house. But you know what? I actually do feel like we should go to the left side this time. So we have the Nap Sugar restaurant, the souvenir shop, and we have some shops right over here and a toilet. Oh my goodness, it's so busy here. Where are these guests going? Oh, this is the restaurant. Oh my gosh, look at all these people waiting in line here. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Okay, so guests do are really hungry and thirsty in here. Oh, we have the first animal already. So we have the red deer here. The red deer here. Aww. Look at these guys. Oh, they, this is nice. You have like a little peek through through these uh, foliage right over here so they do have a little bit of privacy oh this is beautiful do you really like that okay so we can go here to the left side we have a nice red deer sign here as well and let's see okay we have the war dogs one of my most favorite animals of the game oh they have a nice little shelter building here in the back it does look like there are fences even at the backstage area i do really appreciate that whenever someone does do something on the uh, on the inside even though the guests are not really able to see it so i do really like that oh let me just enjoy these piggies oh love them so much they're just so funny. The best animals from the game. Especially when it comes down to their noises. It's just so hilarious. Are you enjoying that fruit pike? <laughs> Do they have a mud bad? It doesn't really look like it. But yeah, definitely one of my most favorite animals. Just because of all the noises that they make. They're just so hilarious. Okay, so the Formosan Black Bear. Let's just go right over here. Wait, is this already the Formosan Black Bear? Look how beautiful, tropical this looks. This is the tape here. They even have a little pool here with an underwater viewing gallery. Oh, that's so nice. Really nice foliage work here. Really nice and tropical. Some mist here. And if we go in here, we're going to go back to the Formosan Black Bear as well. But I just want to see this underwater viewing. It's crazy busy here, but I love it. So they can really enjoy a nice little swim. And there's also a gopi shop. So that is also attracting some more visitors here, obviously. So let's go around here. What do we have? I think this is a backstage area. Yes, look at that. We have an animal clinic and some other gift shops as well. We have a gate here. Also just only for the staff, obviously. 
And here is the famous black bear. So we have a little awning here to get some shelter because we are in a grass and biome here. So it's probably, yeah, oh my goodness, it's 38 degrees. No wonder all these people are thirsty because it's so extremely hot. I love what you did here just to make a more realistic idea of this wall being able that these uh, bears are not able to climb up. Some nice rock work and foliage work in here. And they have a shelter building. Again, some shelter here for the guests. And some nice shelter building here. Just adding a few fences or, or gates and it already does do wonders if you ask me for a backstage area. Instead of keeping it entirely plain. Oh, I guess this is a conservation sign or something like that. And what do we have here? Oh, this is the other side. They have an extra area where they can climb up here and then use this little enrichment item. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's a pity that there's no bears around here because else we could have seen them play around a little bit with that. So we have... Where do we go, actually? Okay, so we should not go here. And we have a Bengal tiger here. Hi, cutie. Aw, this little cub is so adorable, isn't it? Look at that little face. You're so cute. Oh man, they're so adorable. So we have an animal talk here, a little shelter building here, and we go around. Ah, oh, this is really nice. Looking through these rocks here. Oh, the glass is a bit broken. And they can climb up here all the way. We have some some branches for some extra detailing and stuff. This is looking really beautiful. And the tropical foliage is also looking very nice. What do we have here? We have a toilet building. Here we go. Look at this. Isn't that awesome? Just having some branches here and there does work so well for that extra touch of detailing of the, of the rocks. Very nice work. And the guests can see them pretty up close here with the feeding tray. This is amazing. Okay, so we have... Wait a second. Let's go back. For Mosin Black Bear, Bengal Tiger, Beard's Tapir, we've seen. So let's go to the lion's... Hippos and the spotted hyena. I, I guess this is the hippo habitat. It probably is a hippo in here, but shall we go? Let's go to the left side first. It's the back side of the shops. There we go. Lion habitat. Definitely. This is a nice, more plain habitat, especially for these lions enjoying the grasslands biome. Looking very nice, and the guests have a nice view in here as well. And then if we continue... What do we have here? Bengal Tiger... Carnival Shelter... Okay... Oh, look at this! Oh, that's really cool! Some nice extra shade for the guests. And also a vending machine to make sure that they're not getting too thirsty. Good view here into the lion habitat, and then they have a backstage area. Let's just have a look. Really nice. I like these little tiles here. You added some extra fences. That works super well. Makes me wonder where the staff gate is. How oh, they got here. Look at that even. You even added like this door. Oh, that's so cool. I guess it is right over here. Yes, it is. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, it, it looks like... Oh, they can close this off and then have the lions here. And then the keeper is able to enter. Oh, yes, of course. That makes a lot more sense, actually. Really nice backstage area you got there. Oh, and this is how the staff enters the backstage area. Oh, wait a second. There are people walking here. You naughty people. This is a different backstage area, by the way, isn't it? I think it is. Where is this going? Okay, wait. I, I don't think we should be go. Well, actually... No, there's a stop sign, so I guess this is not how we should walk. Maybe that is why. Okay, so we go through here. Oh, what is that? Is Oh, that's from the hippos. Oh, but they're not in the water. Oh, there's one! Oh, it's hard to tell. It's not super clear water. That's why I just go a little bit forward. I just love that so much. 
And I love the, the radish vibe that we have going on here. This is looking so good. I can't remember it being like this, but it might also be the color of the water. Oh, this is so cool, isn't it? Love the rock work here on the sides and then using these African poles. Oh, there we go. Hi. Hello. Ah. This is just so much fun to enjoy these animals in the water. You would almost forget to enjoy your animals after playing this game for so long. I bet people on consoles are just so excited, especially if they never played the game themselves and maybe never even seen videos before. So feel welcome, feel welcome. We have over 3000 hours of inspiration on the channel. <laughs> so, uh, okay, Hippo vs. Africa Lion viewpoint. Shall we go to the viewpoint first? Because I feel like that might be dead end. A nice view here into the... Oh, that's interesting. You use these. This is not part of the tree, is it? Oh, it actually is. I thought these were like separate placed roots. Oh, actually. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize that. Let's just put the time on daytime here. I don't think I did turn off the management sounds and stuff. What is this? Oh, that's the uh, common ostrich habitat. Oh, that looks super nice. Okay, wait, let's go to the viewing point first, because this probably is, yeah, a great view into this beautiful grassland zoo. Oh, wow, just look at that. That is incredible. That's a really nice view you have here. Okay, let's follow this path. And then we have some shops here. Wait, is that? Wait, is that straight? It's not straight. What? That's slightly in an angle. That's so funny. Oh, look at that. That one is too. That is so funny to just give a little bit of a twist. Look at that. A little bit of a twist to these buildings. What a great idea. I love that. That's so original. Oh, what is that building? Is that the building that we just saw on the back side? Can't really tell. Oh, this is a giraffe habitat. Look, I love what you did here with these these beams and then the grass in between and the, the, the walls. I just want to see it. Oh, yes, this is a backside of the giraffes. Oh, that's fantastic. A backstage area for the giraffes. Sorry for the knocking, guys. Neighbors are doing things. It's super frustrating. But this is looking really, really cool. Okay, let's go back through here, and now we can go indoors, which I think has a giraffe viewing. Oh, I like this. This is looking really nice. Great use of the Asian theme that we have in the game. Really nicely decorated. Also African theme, by the way, not only Asian. Well, let's go here. It's a nice combination of Asian and African theme. So, is it, oh, this is not a viewing gallery. What is this? This is the entrance of a restaurant. And then what do we have here? Lemurs. Oh, I did not see that coming. Oh, look at that. That's a restaurant that is looking into the lemur habitat. Oh, what a fantastic idea. Oh, here are the giraffes. Oh, there is a nice viewing here, but there's also a viewing right over there. I think we will still see that. But that is such a cool idea. Love it. Okay, let's go. Ooh, oh gosh. Okay, now I'm in the restaurant. Here we go. So we should go through the lemur habitat then. So we have the lemurs enjoying some climbing frames here. And what do we have? Okay, I think this is the one. Yes, and then you have that building right over here. And there are some lemurs walking around here. There's a little cabin here in the back. That looks cute. Oh, wait, this is a dead end. Oh, and here you have a view into the giraffe habitat. Are there giraffes on this side? Doesn't look like it, but it does look like they're... Oh, there we go. They are able to walk over there. Look at it run. Oh, they're so beautiful. <gasps> oh, that dome looks fantastic. Okay, let's go back and let's go out here. 
And we go through here. So this is... Ah, okay. Yes, so we have some electricity generators. Monkey Mountain. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really nice. So they have a little cave in here. I love the lights in there. Oh, okay. That's an orangutan. Did you see that? That's an orangutan. <laughs> Oh, that's so beautiful and lush here. That looks so nice. And then on this side, because, wait, yeah, viewpoint. Oh, that's that little cabin from the lemurs on the other side. And this has a nice view here on that dome as well. Oh, I'm so curious to see what's in there. Okay, so we go here because there are also gorillas, if I read that sign correctly. Where shall we go? There's a nice viewing. I can't see. I think that's a tortoise. Yes, that is a tortoise. Oh, oh, naughty, naughty guests. Look, oh, there's a saltwater crocodile. Oh, that looks so good. I love that building. I think that that's why I wanted to do a, a tour on this side. Uh, at the last area of, or the last part of this video, because I really want to see that building. I think that's, that's one of the main features of the zoo, at least if I look from the top, that is. I think this is the gorilla habitat. That looks so nice as well. I love the rock work here in the combination with the green and the orange. That's a great idea. So you have, you do have a backstage here. Are there any fences? Yes, there are. Oh, that's nice. Oh, look. Even have some fruit here. And bananas for the gorillas, even though it's not very healthy for these guys. As there's such so, so much sugar in these bananas, but... They do like bananas, that's for sure. Okay, oh yes, we can see that building. Oh, I really want to see what's inside there. Or is there? Oh, it's a shelter for the African savanna elephant. Nice little seating area. Little video playing from Planet Zoo. Look at this. That's beautiful. Oh, it's a pity that the guests can actually... I'm not really sure. Yeah, they cannot even look into this. Like, not officially, at least. This is such a great shelter building. I love it. And I love that you use these New World modern pieces. That works so well. That is gorgeous. Well done. That is a fantastic dome. This looks so beautiful with all these, these beams around here. Fantastic. Okay, so the African elephant right over here. Look how close he is. Oh, they are so freaking beautiful. Oh man, I can look at these animals so long. It's so much fun. Beautiful habitat here. Gorgeous open habitat here for the elephants. Looks so nice with all these 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 beams around here and like these planters and stuff. This is the little bridge that we saw the giraffe passing by. A little tube where the water comes out. Amazing work. Really gorgeous. And they have a little water pool here even. I think I missed that one when we just passed by here. Were we just here actually? Oh, yes, we were standing right over here. Oh, that's a great pool. Really nice work. Oh, and this is the ostrich habitat. Wait, and now I start to doubt myself because did we miss out on any habitat right over here? This is the backstage area. Look at these sand piles. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's so cool. I love this. Some jeeps here. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, let's see. So the ostrich is right over here. Oh man, this is so cool. Okay, so we did not miss out on anything. Is that 
leading anywhere or is this like more of a dead end backstage area it does look like it so let's just go back and go here underneath oh well it's not really underneath it felt like a little bridge area spotted hyena yes that's what we did not see yet atm toilets food and drink shops oh man i love this archway Okay, so this is the building where we walked in. Yes, that's the backstage of the giraffe. Spotted hyena is this way. But didn't we just came from here? This is where all these cute little buildings. Oh, wait, here, hippo viewing. I think we missed out on the spotted hyena somewhere around here. Oh, here, this is the spotted hyena habitat. Look! Oh, their, their noises are so funny. It's like, they're always laughing. <laughs> oh, so hilarious. And they're so cute. Just look at it. Oh yeah, just, just play with your poop, I guess. <laughs> okay, so where did we go? Uh, education center. Uh, so was that the education center that we just came by? I think so. Oh, yes, you can even see it from here. Education center. Oh, that looks so good. I love the flowers here and the planters, but is this also a habitat? This is so beautiful. That is a great education center, that's for sure. This could be a really nice habitat for some animal that enjoys water. Ah, oh, this is a tortoise. Oh, this is amazing. All of these pillars here with the green sticking out. Saltwater crocodile. Reptile house, Chinese pangolin. But I feel like we did not walk here just yet. No, we did not. This is looking so nice. I love all the grass and stuff you added here in the water. And a nice green foliage here. It matches. It 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 has such a nice contrast with the uh, with the uh, uh, the sand and stuff from the grasslands biome. And that building is just so fantastic. Let's just go and see if we can go inside of that building. That would be the the, the reptile house done in the Chinese pangolin, right? And this will probably go back to the entrance. Oh, look at that! You can buy some fruit here, some juice maybe. Look at this. What a fantastic raptor house. Okay, let's go inside. Oh, wow. Now monitor habitat. Oh, that's awesome. Just look at that gate right over here and all these beautiful tropical foliage around here. That is so beautiful. I love the roofing. It's so good. And I love how this is all green. That it looks so different from the outside. Oh, this is such a cool indoor area also for the saltwater crocodile. With that sloped roof here. Oh, that looks so good. Another now monitor view. And okay, this is probably stuff. Yeah, okay, let's not go there. But we can go around here, right? So there are some exhibits on the outside or on, on these edges here and these corners. And I have uh, maybe another viewing here and it's an monitor. No, it's not. There's a seating area here. You can buy some drinks and then you got right over here. Oh, oh, that's really cool. A little seating and education area for the now monitors. I can so much appreciate that because the now monitor feels so underrated. And you actually gave them. Oh, I love this view here, by the way. You actually gave them a really nice area here. Well done. Definitely super cool. Oh, yeah. Really, really love this area. Definitely one of my most favorite spots here, I guess. The whole reptile house. See, that's why I wanted to do the reptile house as the, the final boom. Well, almost, because we're not there yet. 
Save the best for last, they say, and that one was definitely awesome. Oh, this is a backstage area. Some some shops, food and drink shops. Oh, what's this? This is an indoor art park habitat. Oh, that's cool. Love the the yellow grass in here. Rye grass. So was I right that this is heading towards the entrance again? No, this is the Chinese pangolin. Oh, let's go inside. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, very nice and lush Chinese pangolin habitat. There's an exhibit here. Let's celebrate them. Yes, agreed. Chinese pangolins are amazing. Oh, and all these other animals are too. What a great idea. Really nice. I wonder if we can see a Chinese pangolin because... Oh, there is one. Why do I start to whisper? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, they're so cute. Just look how they walk on their little paws. It's so funny. Oh man, love these animals. Should definitely add them at some point to our Eagle Island Park that we're working on. But this... Indian Rhino! Yes, let's go! Look at these fellas. Ah, they're so pretty. So beautiful. What a nice habitat, and they even have a little mud pool, and in a way in the grass, some water to cool down. And there's a little bridge here as well, so you have a nice viewing into the habitat from higher ground. <gasps> there's even education area! Look at all these people enjoying this animal talk here. Are you enjoying yourself? Hope you do. It looks like she wants to throw that to like, oh yeah, if you are not doing a well educational talk, I'm gonna throw that to you. <laughs> so where is it? Oh, this is the hippo habitat from the other side. Oh, that looks so beautiful. That's a really nice view into the habitat here. But we, we did already see the other side, didn't we? Beard Tapir, Common Warthog. Yeah, let me just check real quick. Yes, it does look like we did see all the animals here in Nep Sugar Zoo made by Pabal. Thank you so, so much for sharing this beautiful grassland zoo with us. Definitely enjoyed it. You did a really great job on this beautiful zoo. Congratulations, Pabal. And everyone out there, please leave something nice for Pabal in the comments down below. And let us all know what you guys think of this beautiful grass zoo called Nep Sugar Zoo. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed it and subscribe of course if you haven't already. Yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next zoo tour that we're going to do tomorrow on the channel. So definitely stay tuned for that. Thank you all so much for watching. Bye guys!